And on this, you should also spend a lot of time. And that is, what's the right business structure for you? So should you buy property in your own name? Should you do it as a partnership? Should it be an LLP? Should it be a limited company? Should it be a hybrid of all of those? Should you have a holding company? Because the structure is something that should be flexible and should be able to help you to get to your goals and should be fit for purpose and future proof to some extent. There's no one particular structure that is going to last the next 20 years, by the way, because your goals, your aspirations, your objectives are going to change. But as long as there's some flexibility, that's going to make it easier for you. So for example, let's say you've got 20,000 uh, pounds income by way of a day job, and you're looking to maybe buy two single lets. It could be that buying them in your own name might work for you because you're never going to become a higher rate taxpayer or you don't think you're going to be become a higher rate taxpayer because you've got a part-time job where you earn 20,000 pounds. You're happy with that. All you want is to create an additional, let's say five to 10,000 pounds worth of income. So that would work okay for you. However, somebody else might be quite enthusiastic and say, I don't really want to buy one or two properties. I want to create a portfolio of let's say 20 properties and they might be earning let's say 45,000 pounds from their day job and for them, it might be better to have a limited company. And it's difficult for me to, to tell you exactly which structure to choose because I need to know your circumstances. But what I would say is do the research and work out the pros and the cons, the advantages and benefits and the disadvantages and the drawbacks of every single type of structure and see the one that best fits and aligns with where you are now, but more importantly, where you want to be in the future. I meet with a lot of property investors and I can tell you most of them don't have the right structure because they haven't given enough time and thought to it. And once you've gone into a structure to then change can be costly because there's tax consequences, could be income tax, could be capital gains tax, could be corporation tax, could be stamp duty land tax. And if they've got commercial property as an option to tax, there could be possible VAT implications. So it can get messy. So you're better off spending the time at the start, working out the structure, and if you need help, speak to an accountant or a tax advisor, and they'll be able to assist you with what you ought to be thinking about. And if they don't give you the answer, at least they'll ask you some really good questions, which will help you get to the answer.